In this lesson for Bobcad CAM, we're going to take a look at the Material Library. To access this, right-click CAM Defaults and go to the last option, which is Material Library. This will open the Stock Material Library dialog box. Inside of here, you can see all the types of materials on the left, and then all the materials for the selected group on the right. For instance, if I click on Aluminum, you can see all the different types of aluminum as I scroll down through the list. Down across the bottom here, we have a whole lot of buttons that we're going to take a look at. The first we're going to look at is the column of the groups of materials. You can see we have things like aluminum, carbon steel, cast iron, magnesium, uh, plastic, stainless steel, super alloys, titaniums, and so forth. You can actually add your own groups, delete them, and rename them. So if I wanted to add my own group, I can simply click on this, give the new group name like wood, and press OK. Now I've added a whole new group of materials to the, to the library that I can start adding into. Let's go back up to aluminum for a minute. You can also rename those groups, delete them, and so forth. You can import old cutting condition material libraries that you have from the older versions of software, such as uh, version 25, for instance. Just simply click this button, direct it back to the C drive, program data, Okay, we're going to go into the Bobcat Cam data, the older version of software, such as the 25, milling technology, the conditions, and just choose the conditions file of the old one and open it, and that will load it in. You'll see it come in as old cutting conditions here, and you can see these are the ones from my older software. So these can be used, they can be moved, modified, whatever you need to. You can save the material library after you make changes to it. Down through here, we got a bunch of other additional buttons. We have set as default, move to favorites, add a material, delete a material, and modify a material. So if I have a material chosen, and I click set as default, it's going to set that material as the default material in the cam tree. So let's say under aluminum, I want to use a lot of them in here. We're going to go to 6061T6. I'm going to click set as default. Now that's going to be the default material that's going to come up in my tree all the time. The Move to Favorites button you want to be careful with. If I hit Move to Favorites, it will take this material completely out of my list, create an uh, a type over here called Material, and move it in there. It is very difficult to get it back in. You actually have to go into the XML file itself and move it back over manually. So be careful on the Move to Favorites. If you move it out of a group, it's probably going to be in that new Favorites uh, place once you do that. So for instance, if I pick one of these, like a 5652, and hit Move to Favorites, you can see it creates a favorites category that has that one in there, the 5652H32. But if I go back to aluminum, you can see it's uh, gone out of here. So just be careful with the move to favorites button. You can add new material. So if I'm like in my wood, I can come down here. I can say this is hardwood. You could choose the different tool materials to be used uh, with this, the types of tools. I can say I also want to be able to use carbide as well as insert and any other types of materials that you need. Over here you start getting into the way to set up the uh, speeds and feeds for that material. Surface feed a minute, surface feed a minute for tapping, chip load, for, uh, chip load per flute or per tooth, and the plunge chip loader, the Z-feed. So you can set the standards across here and they will be carried down through the boxes. If you come in here and click this customize, it unlocks all the boxes and you can set all the different types of operations and tools at their own uh, surface speed a minute and chip loads as you need. Now if you're not sure on what to set these as, you can always go back to the tool manufacturer's website. They'll have a, a recommended guide of surface speed a minutes and chip loads or inches per tooth on their website to use for different materials and uh, size cuts and so forth that you can set up in your library. Again, you can choose a different tool material and have a whole different set of speeds and feeds here. So I might make this one 45. If I go back to high speed, it's 19. Maybe insert, I want to be 32. So you can see I can run different speeds and feeds for the different type of tool material. So it becomes very important when you're in your feature and you're choosing your tool that you choose the right material of that tool 
So that way the, the material library can set the right speed and feed for you. You have your drilling speeds and feeds down here as well. Surface feed in a minute and chip load on the plunge. And when you press OK, that material will be added to that category. It's the same thing with modifying them. If I'm in Super Alloys and I grab this one here and I hit Modify, it's just going to bring up what's in there for it. You can still add and rename your tool materials um, and click down through these and you'll see they have the different speeds and feeds. And then you can go in and customize individual ones as needed. So pretty easy to come in and, and work with. You can also change the names of them up here. Uh, if you have a certain name or a code that you use in your shop for your materials, just feel free to put that alongside the name uh, and, and save it so it's there. So the material library, again, to access it, you're going to right-click the CAM defaults. You're going to go to material library. You have your, your groups of materials on the left, your material group adding and deleting and renaming buttons, your import old conditions buttons, saving your changes once you've made them, set your default material, and then modify your materials with these buttons here. This concludes this lesson.